Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to look at creating a time off request form to simplify your life, but also your employee's life and make it really easy to condense all the information in one place and just make better decisions. So the first thing I want to show you is the actual form. So if I look at the form here, uh, the employee puts in their full name, then they can decide which dates they're asking for time off. So let's say I'm looking for the 31st and the 31st. So they would put the dates that they need time off. They could ask for and write a reason. So I could say there's a wedding on that day. And then they just say, I, 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 you know, I read and accept that, I, that people are going to look over it and then I'm going to sign it. Right? So it's not approved. This is just really the employee coming in for a request and they will not see this approval, but you will be able to go in in the back end afterwards and approve or not the time off request. So the employee su submits it. Um, and then what does it look like on the back end? So first things first to create it, it's a very simple drag and drop. You can add multiple more questions, remove the reason, the signature, you can just create what you want. You click on the plus sign and you have all these different types of questions uh, that you might want to ask as people are filling in the uh, time off request because you'll have everything condensed in one place. Um, and then you can go see the respondents. So here are all the respondents who filled out the uh, form. And the last thing is if you click on analytics, you'll actually get a calendar of when people ask for time off. So that can really help you give you a good vision of, you know, where are, when and where are people asking for time off? So you can make, you know, better decisions on that front. Last thing you can do is you can say, okay, I'm going to go to the respondents and I'm going to go into visible columns. I'm going to add all these columns to see everything going on. And I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to approve, right? Um, for this time off request. And what's nice is if you have multiple administrators coming in here, you'll be able to see who approved it and when was it approved so that people, you can make again, better decisions in a group of people. And last thing you can actually have a template and to take the LED and just say, Hey, I want to send him an SMS. And I could just say, you know, hello, your time off request was accepted. And then all you got to do is send it to that person. Um, and in terms of other things, just how you share this, right? Cause you know, you need the employee to come and see this form. So a few ways you can do that. So you can add it. I have a video on the staff onboarding. So you can go that you can have a staff onboarding staff management page, but this actual form has a unique link. So you can embed it on a website, but you can just share this link with people. If they click on it, they're going to that form. And the other one is printing the QR code. So what I hear a lot of organizations that work with us is like, they say like, if somebody asks me for time off requests on email, I just send them the link, right? Uh, I'll put a QR code in the, uh, in my office or in the break room so that people can scan it and ask for, for time off. Uh, I don't approve everything, but at least because everything's going to the same place, it's very easy for a group of people to analyze the demands and kind of make decisions if they're going forward or, or, or not with approving of the time off. So I hope this makes sense. If you have any more questions, you can visit activitymessenger.com.